Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Lexus GX460 Premium. Now the most notable features on this Premium is its heated and cooled front seats. You also have your 360 degree backup camera and your parking sensors. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Lexus GX460 Premium. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this premium is its daytime running lights. You'll also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just at your front grille, you're going to see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera. You'll also have your parking sensors and then over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your running boards and then taking a look at your mirror here you're going to find your down facing camera on all sets of uh, mirrors just for your 360 degree back of camera, integrated signal lamps, vortex generators, heated mirrors, power folding mirrors and then on the inside of the mirror you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it will actually light up just alerting you that there's another vehicle right beside you. You have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your power tilt telescopic steering wheel, mirror controls with your power folding mirror button, traction control on and off, heated steering wheel on and off on the inside of your driver's side door. You have your window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows with your seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control scroll function, you have your view for your 360 degree camera, mode select, Bluetooth connectivity, display settings, and then you also have your voice recognition with your lane departure alert and cruise control. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the display here, you're going to see your exterior temperature gauge with a digital compass and then if you actually use the scroll function on your right hand side of the steering wheel, you can actually scroll through and take a look at your lapse time, average speed, current fuel economy, and then you also have your cruising range and a couple of other additional features on here as well. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options which include your hazard lights, your navigation system, and when you go into the setup menu, you'll find your general voice, Bluetooth, audio, and a couple of other additional features. In your climate control settings here, you'll find your fan speed as well as your mode select and a couple of other additional features. Now located down below, you do have your dual zone climate control settings your front rear mirror defroster and down below we have volume control tune function matted to an automatic transmission heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger as well as your USB and auxiliary input 4x4 select as well as a couple of other additional controls taking a look up top you'll find your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass Open and closed and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof and then you also have an additional mirror on the inside just so you can keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving. Now just to give you a quick idea of what your backup camera is going to look like, I'll just throw into reverse here for you. As you can see you have those nice guiding lines there, you also have the guiding lines with the uh, steering wheel as well so when you turn the steering wheel the yellow line will actually move in conjunction with it just to let you know where you're going to end up. Now when we throw this into drive and we hit the view button on your steering wheel here, you'll see you have that nice front view of the vehicle, so in the event that you're trying to park in a parkade and you want to see exactly how much room there is from you and the wall, it definitely comes in handy. If you press it once more, it'll give you the side view just at your uh, mirrors there just to see if there's any obstructions in the way as well as in the rear as well. And then if you want to keep it on auto, you can just hit the auto button here and then that way when you're going um, under a certain amount of kilometers it'll actually stay on until you actually go faster than uh, what it actually is to keep it on. And if you want you can just take it off auto just by hitting auto once more. 
Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then on the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera. And then over on your left hand side, you'll find the rear hatch release. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now one of the nice things is you do have that additional third row so in the event that you do need the additional passengers in the back it's available to you. Over on your right hand side you do have that power outlet as well. And the other nice thing is you do have the cargo liner in the back here as well so if you spill any liquids back here it makes things much easier to clean up afterwards. And then as you can see you have some tie down areas just located over on your right and left hand side. Not only are, do you have the third row, but they're also power folding as well. So when you actually push on the button, it'll actually lift it up. So you want to make sure that you don't have any obstructions in the way just so the seat can actually fold up properly. And if you do need the additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split for your second row there, just in case you do need some additional space. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2014 Lexus GX460 Premium, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.